My name is Albert Wesker. I aspire to become a leading researcher at Umbrella Inc., a pharmaceutical enterprise who covertly conducted bioorganic weapons, better known as BOW, for development. But at the leader development training ground situated in Raccoon City, I met a brilliant and talented researcher who made me decide to take a different path. William Birkin. In time, I shifted my position to STARS, a special forces unit of the Raccoon Police Department. Umbrella for crisis management reasons of their illegal bioorganic weapons development had many of its people working in the police department. I became the leader of STARS and conducted all sorts of intelligence activities for Umbrella. As I continued to serve, I devised my own plans and waited for the right moment to execute them. Then at last, Opportunity knocked. The freak murder incident that occurred in a forest near the mansion started it all. The mansion was Umbrella's secret bow laboratory, and it was clear that the in-development T-virus was the cause of the murder. Initially, Umbrella instructed me secretively to keep Stars out of the case. But, with the heightened emotions of the citizens, Stars had no choice but to move in. That's when my next order was given. Dispatch Stars to the mansion, dispose of them, then report the situation to headquarters so that their combat with the bow could be used for data analysis allowing Umbrella a comprehensive portrait of the BOW's combat abilities. From the two STARS teams, I first pitched in the Bravo team. As expected, the top elite of STARS gave all they had and became useful sample data. Then following, I geared up the Alpha team to search and rescue the lost Bravo team. The members of the Alpha team also proved their worth and as expected, many died. There were five survivors from the initial 11 STARS members. From the Alpha team were Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, and Barry Burton. And from the Bravo team were Rebecca Chambers and Enrico Marini. I don't know what happened. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. time to begin executing my plans. In the midst of the whole affair, I could take Umbrella's ultimate bioorganic weapon, the Tyrant, and join forces with an opposing corporation of Umbrella. To buy into that opposing corporation, I would need the actual combat data of the Tyrant. The surviving privileged members of STARS were just the perfect bait. I decided to have one of them play the Judas and draw them to the tyrant. That Judas was Barry. Barry! Barry was the strong truth and justice kind and cherished his family more than anything. His type is easy to manipulate. I simply took that most important thing away from him. My only miscalculation was the high potential of Chris and Jill. But with the family man, Barry, playing the Judas, the scheme went as planned. Then the winds turned oh, unexpectedly. Jill. What good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Listen, the stars are going to be finished soon. Someone is a traitor. 
Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ah! I had to eliminate Enrico, who found out what was behind it all. I used Barry to get to him. Enrico! After I successfully got rid of that nuisance, I awaited the sample specimen that Barry would bring to me in the tyrant's room. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? So you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet. I'm going to show you the tyrant. I injected the virus I obtained from Birkin in advance. If I made Umbrella believe I was dead, it made it far more convenient to sell myself to the opposing corporation. According to Birkin, the virus had profound effects. It would put my body in a state of temporary death. It would then bring me back to life with superhuman powers. Therefore, I unleashed an awesome tyrant from its slumber and let it attack me. What? Don't come this way! No! As my consciousness faded away, I was certain that the whole scheme would end in success. Never did I imagine that stars could slay the evil creation. I lost the tyrant, and the plan I devised, which cost me my humanity, ended in failure. Now, anyone or anything that stood in my way would be terminated. It has been that way for a long time, and it always will be. At all costs, I had to make stars pay.